So, okay, good morning and uh, welcome to the first technical session here at uh, GDD 2009 in a very beautiful but very cold and very wet Poland. Um, today we're going to talk about business process management and in, the, in particular GBPM, the open source framework of GBOS for doing BPM. Um, now, we are aware of the fact that it's very early in the morning, it's the same for us, um, and that probably most of you guys here won't have enough yet taken enough coffee in their system, which is the same problem for us. Um, so we're going to tr try to keep it light and very digestible for you. Um, by the way, my name is Joram Barre. I'm a GBPM core developer working for JBoss Red Hat. Um, this fine gentleman here is Mr. Tom Byans. Um, he's the founder and project lead of uh, GBPM, which technically makes him my boss. So I'm going to be a little less loud today than normally. Okay, this is the menu for the coming 50 minutes. First, I'm going to talk about business process management in general, or BPM, because everybody loves acronyms. Then Tom is going to take over, and he's going to talk about GBPM, give you some insights about business values, technical values, what is GBPM all about. And then we're going to wrap it up with a demo, the train ticket system, uh, which we'll use to show you all of the features of GBPM. All right, now, when you start doing this BPM stuff, then typically it tends to get quite overwhelming. There are a lot of hypes, a lot of buzzwords, a lot of acronyms, a lot of everything in the industry, which make it quite complex when you start doing BPM. So one of our goals of this talk is that when you go home tonight, you can just say to your wife, no, not tonight. Um, you take our presentation and you start doing BPM without having to read 10 books. But our story starts at the very beginning and we're going to explain to you what is a business process. Now, very simple, a business process is an organized way, or more or less organized way, of doing things to achieve a certain goal. Now, this goal, most of the times, is just making money. Um, it's important to remember that the business process concept is in fact not something that was invented by IT, but something that go, goes way back like 300 years ago. There was this famous Mr. Adam Smith, which you might know because he's the father of the modern economy, and he wrote a little story about the pin factory, and there he used the term business process to explain how the spin factory could make more money. Then we jump 100 years, Mr. Henry Ford, which you might know from the same car, the Ford, um, he introduced something calls, called the uh, assembly lines. Now you can see a picture there on the right side. The assembly line is, is like a big factory where you have a lot of lines with people working on it, and in fact these lines in this big factory they are a representation, a physical representation of the different steps in a process, a business process, which is needed to make a car. And then we jump again 100 years, then have Mr. William Edwards Deming. Now, Mr. Deming is a quite important fellow. Um, the American government sent him to Japan after the Second World War to help rebuild the Japanese industry there. And he introduced a lot of techniques which are still used in the industry today. For example, you might have heard of SPC, Statistical Process Control. You might have heard of the Deming Quality Circle, which you can see here on the picture, which is Plan, Do, Check, Act, which is in fact quite similar to the BPM life cycle. Um, you might have heard already of Six Sigma. Six Sigma is a really hot topic today. Um, you might have heard something like, uh, yeah, our process is like Two Sigma, and my process is like Four Sigma. I'm not going to explain to you what, what Six Sigma is, you can just uh, look it up on Wikipedia, it's explained very well there. But um, Six Sigma is in fact something that is building upon topics which this guy invented like 50 years ago. Now, it doesn't have to be so abstract. If you think about it, tax collection for the government. Yeah, you receive a form, you fill it in, you put it in the mailbox, you pray and hope you get money back. Business process. Going to the library, taking your books out, registering them, um, reading them. If you're too late, buy a, pay a ticket, business process. This is Mr. Tom Byers, by the way. Um, parking your car, taking your cell phone, pushing a number of the parking meter, receiving a message saying, like, do you want to pay this amount of money? You say, yes, you send it. Voila, business process. Now this is an example, which is not very readable, but it's an example you can download on our website, which is a source binary to, to check out how this actually works with a real Bluetooth cell phone. And if you think about it, even getting up in the morning is like a business process. Yeah, you get up, you take a shower, you have breakfast, you drive to the work, business process. Different steps to achieve a certain goal. So you can say that any company, any product, 
any service, they all have business processes, which actually means that doing business is the same as executing some business process. So now we talked about the business process, but I started the presentation with saying like BPM. Now we're going to explain where the M comes from, like the management. So I told you that business processes are everywhere, but it doesn't mean that people even know them or somebody is controlling or guiding them, or in fact that everybody is using the same version of the business process. So that's where management kicks in. Management makes sure that you enforce the business process on all the people, that everybody knows what to do, Sometimes it would mean changing, uh, changes in your organization, and often this would mean that you need feedback from your processes. And a lot, a lot of times you can hear something like, uh, my KPIs are bad, and, and KPI means a fancy word for key performance indicator, and KPI is actually just a, f a fancy word for metrics. For example, a simple KPI is, uh, my process has to be done within the hour, so a good KPI is if you do it in 50 minutes, a bad KPI is if you do it in two hours. Now, for the management, there is where technology kicks in and where GBPM comes into the picture. And I will let Tom tell you more about it. Okay. Is this working? Can you all hear me? Oh, thanks. Um, so this was all nice, the theory behind it, but now what does that mean for Java developers when you actually start to write some code? So my first question is, how many of you guys are writing Java as a, as a daily job, let's say? How many people here write Java code? So it's about 80% Java developers. Phew, I was lucky. So this is actually, the next part is, what does this mean in practice for Java developers? Um, so a business process management system is actually a piece of software that wants to help you with these, uh, automating these business, process, business processes. And what you actually put as input into a business process management system like JBPM is the combination of a diagram, which you can see here, and some technical details. So the diagram contains extra technical details so that the uh, BPMS can actually execute your executable process. Then you can deploy this process onto the system and you can start executions of your process uh, on your system. JBPM is able to cope with multiple process languages. Um, as you might already have seen, another question to the audience, how, much, how many people of you have already been exposed to business process management or workflow? How many of you have used workflow or business process management? Wow, nice. So about 20% of you already have used BPM and workflow. Then you might know that there's various different types of workflow. There's um, the type of business process management that comes from what Joram just explained, like the business, the management as a discipline, right? So there's a management discipline of managing your business processes. And that's kind of more uh, the connection between non-technical people and technical people. Um, that's one use case of this technology, but there are more technical use cases as well. And the first I want to describe is JPDL. That's a process language which is actually aimed at the first use case, the management, uh, the management discipline, let's say. BPM as a management discipline. How can you facilitate the collaboration between non-technical guys and IT guys uh, around diagrams that also the non-technical guys can understand? So JPDL is a process language, a flavor of BPM or workflow that is good for that collaboration. It also has human tasks, so you can draw a box which actually means that a person has to do a task, um, which then result into task lists that you can display to your users. And we focus with JPDL a lot on convenience for developers, so we have very readable XML. Then there's a new standard coming up, which is BPMN2. That's another flavor of workflow or business process management, but this time it's a standard. It's also focused on the collaboration between business people and non-technical people, um, but the only downside there is it's not as developer-friendly as JPDL. 